there, Shalini Mittal here from Tech Gatha and this video we will see the designer drawbacks. Till now we have covered that we can use Test NG Citrus Test Designer or JUnit Citrus Test Designer for writing our Citrus test cases. The designer provides a very nice builder pattern method for building our test cases. The way the designer works is it basically builds all the complete test cases in design time. That means all the actions are executed first and then the test case is executed. The designer pattern collects all test actions in the internal memory. It caches them and then executes the whole test case. So if you have a custom call to any Java method that will not be a part of test case and it executes even before the Citrus test case starts. Now what does this mean is, let's open Eclipse and see an example to understand the designer pattern. Here I have created a class logging service which has a method logs which takes a string as a parameter. Now let's write a test case which is going to create the object of this logging service called the logs method. So I have a class sample java designer drawback it and to write a test case you can use either the test ng or the junit annotations it's totally fine. I'll say at citrus test and let's create a test so I'll say public void test log service. Now you have a dependency on the logging service. So I'll say logging service is equals to new logging service. Now inside this I would be writing echo and a message before log called. Let me say echo and I'll put here after log called and let's call the message obj.logs and pass in logs will be printed right now let's run and see how it works now when we run this and let me maximize this my test case passes so you can see it's passed the log service test case and if I see the console you would see logs will be printed is over here. It executes this statement even before the test case is initialized. Because this happens at design time, at run time when it executes, it executes all the custom calls and then actually it creates a test action sequence. The way we want the output is we want the echo before log called, then we want the log and then we want the after log called. To do that, to tell the designer that hey this logs method should be a part of the test case, we need to wrap this around the action method. So I'll say new, we have abstract test action and we'll move this code within the method do execute. Now once we do this, we are wrapping this custom call within the action and now it's a part of a test case. Let's execute and see. Now if I go to the console, can you see before log called? Then we have the logs will be printed in a sequence and then we have after log called. So to make a custom method call as a part of test action with the designer pattern, we have to wrap it around action. To solve this particular drawback, Citrus provides with a runner as well. So we will see the runner and the various ways you can inject designer and runner in the next video. Till then, happy learning, take care and bye-bye.